Sunday and welcome back to my channel. It's 20 to 12 and I am doing an experiment and I thought I'd share it with you. Sorry about the light in the background, it, it's just the time of day. Um, so this is something that I've seen on Instagram. Uh, I've been following a lovely lady called Tracy who's from Ireland um, and she's lost about five stone with Slimming World and she's now a consultant and I've followed her for ages um, and she made a couscous quiche so basically it's it's a Slimming World quiche or a crustless quiche with couscous as the base or the crust and you'll have to let me know if you think it's a tweak um, but I'm going to be using 100 grams of couscous which will do me at least two portions and I would use 100 grams of couscous in a frying pan with meat and vegetables to make a couscous salad so I'm using the same amount of couscous as I would normally anyway um, so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride this is for my lunch today and another lunch during the week so I'm already running a bit late but hey ho I think this does take maybe 45 minutes to make so what we need to do is I've also found a recipe online I, I didn't find much online so if you've ever made this or found a good written recipe or anything else online then please do send me a link or send me a photo because I'd love to share this properly. So the first step is to cook or soak the couscous. So we need 100 grams of couscous soaked in about 160 ml of hot water and mixed with a stock cube. So I'll get on with that. So that is my 100 grams of couscous and I'm just going to use a no chicken stock pot which is free on Slimming World. So I'm going to add the hot water and the stock cube and leave it to soak up the water. Right, so I have my soaked couscous. It's been soaking for a few minutes and I've got one beaten egg. I've actually added some salt and pepper to the couscous as well. So one beaten egg into the couscous. Give that a bit of a stir. And then I'm going to take a flan dish. This is a 20 centimetre. We'll see how we go. And I'm going to pour this mixture into the flan dish. Now it depends how thick you would like your crust or bottom. But if you wanted it a bit thinner, it would quite easily have covered this size of tray. This doesn't tell me how big it is, but actually that might be 20 centimetres as well. But anyway... It is, it is quite wet, um, the, the instructions on the internet say you can either leave it like that, leave it to set for a little while or you can pop, pop it in the oven. As I do like a firmer quiche, I think I'm going to pop mine in the oven which I've had preheating at 200. So I'm going to put that in for 10 minutes or so and see how we go. So while my crust or couscous is cooking, I'm going to prepare some filling. So I'm going to fry off some tomatoes, peppers and onions. Obviously you can use whatever you want. Uh, mushrooms, what, courgette, whatever veg you've got hanging about, anything at all. And then I've also got some smoked ham. Um, so I'm going to add some smoked ham and I'm just going to fry that off. I'm not going to use it all, I don't think. That'll be enough. I'm just going to fry that off for a few minutes. You can season it with whatever you want. Salt and pepper, Italian herbs, whatever you want. And uh, then we'll be waiting for the crust to cook. So I'm just waiting for the crust to cook. I'll give it another few minutes. And I've prepared some more ingredients. So here I've got 80 grams of light cheese, which I'll use. And I'm still frying off my toppings. So I've got 80 grams of light cheese, which is two healthy extra A's. 
um, and then I've got another three eggs which I'm going to beat and in the three eggs I'm going to add some seasoning again you add whatever you want to your taste so salt pepper I'm going for a sort of pizza feel to this one so salt pepper and Italian herbs and then I'm going to beat those eggs while I'm waiting for my other ingredients right the couscous crust has had 10 minutes in an oven at 200 degrees and you'll see that it's come away from the edges it feels firm to the touch feels a bit spongy so if you did have a bit more time you want you might want to leave it a bit longer and see if it goes like crispy but i'm dead hungry today so yeah i'm 10 minutes is all I'm willing to give it. So I've got some tomato puree and I'm going to squirt that and I'm going to spread that over. So I've now spread out my tomato puree and I'm going to dump my toppings on. There's loads there. And then I'm going to pour over my beaten eggs. Make sure that's fully covered and all spread out. Top with my cheese. Obviously you don't need to use as much cheese completely up to you or you don't need to put cheese on at all it depends what you fancy or you could layer you could layer some at the bottom and then put some at the top could have probably done that I suppose make it a bit more like a pizza and then I'm just going to scatter a few more Italian herbs over so I have lost some of my egg due to this um, quiche tin but never mind I'm going to whack that back in my oven on 200 for about 30 minutes or as long as I can stand to wait so this is what it looks like after 25 minutes in the oven I think that's done to my satisfaction you can see the egg is firm to the touch and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it in there for five or ten minutes just to cool down before I try and get it out because I have seen on Instagram that if you try and get it out too quickly the couscous might fall apart uh, but with me doing it in the oven beforehand I'm not sure but to be on the safe side I'm just going to leave it for a few minutes. So I just ran round the edges with a, a server or a palette knife put the jar on a, put the flan case on a glass, drinking glass and this is how it's come out. So can you see the edges there? Left it for about five minutes just to cool down a little enough so that I can touch this. So I'm going to try and get it off the base now. Here's how it looks off the base and cut in half. From the look and feel of it, I think it'll be more like a spongy, thick pizza base type thing. You know when you get those really thick pizzas and they're a bit like spongy and doughy? Not to put you off or anything, but I'm going to try it now. I'll show you how I'm going to serve it up. And that will be completely sin free, just using your Healthy Extra A. I think maybe next time I'll do it in, I'll look for a bigger um, flan dish. But I'll see how this tastes first, but it certainly looks delicious. This is how I'm serving it, cut in half the couscous quiche. So it's a couscous crust served with, topped with um, ham, peppers, tomatoes and onion with eggs and 
40 grams of light cheese with some seasoning and a green leaf salad, green leaves, cucumber, gherkins and a few little peppers that were left over. I will taste this and let you know what I think. So my next job is to take Charlie out for a walk but I thought before that I'd come on and give you my thoughts on the couscous quiche. I really really enjoyed it, yeah it was very pizza like. As I suspected it was a thick base and it was like a, a deep pan pizza um, but not as doughy. That's what it reminded me of, like a deep pan pizza base. So I think next time it would be fine in either a, a, a bigger tray or less couscous in the same size tray. Or if you do fancy something that's a bit like a deep pan pizza, then go ahead and do it as I've shown in this video. You could also, it depends what you fancy. If you're fancying the deep pan pizza, do it as I've done it. Or if you fancy a bit more of a quiche, you could try mixing a bit of quark or cottage cheese into the eggs like you would to make a crustless quiche. Uh, but I think if you did that when you were wanting the pizza -y taste, it would probably come out more like a, a, a crustless quiche but with the couscous at the bottom. But yeah, um, I, think it, I think it would work best to pre-cook or um, blind bake if you like the, the couscous before you put your filling on and bake it again. Um, if you had even more patience than me you might be able to leave it in a little bit longer and see if it crisps up anymore. Or and I've I've got another I've got another half left over so I'll I'll let you know what in another vlog I'll let you know what it's like when it's been left a couple of days. So yeah, I really really enjoyed that. It was really really like a pizza. Uh, really really filling. Um if you wanted just a quarter and you had plenty of salad, that would probably fill you up. But I was really hungry today, uh, so I did have half. But I think just for a lunch with plenty of salad or maybe salad and some sin-free coleslaw or sin-free potato salad or something like that, um, you would get away with a quarter. Um, but... If, if any of you have been, I know there's some of my viewers who've been on Slimming World or around the Slimming World plan for years and years and I think this recipe is going back a few years because I can't find anything recently on the internet. So I don't know if it's now maybe seen as a tweak um, or it's just kind of fell out of favour. Um, but as I say, because I only used 100 grams of couscous and I would use that amount if I was serving myself twice um, and making a normal bowl of couscous, then I'm not too worried about it. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you've made it back in the mists of time. Let me know if you've come across a good recipe, good fillings. Um, and yeah, if you make it, let me know. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.